The agony of defeat in the final seconds against rival Howard last season in the MEAC tournament title game. The Norfolk State men missing out on what would have been a third straight NCAA tournament appearance. On the other side, the joy of victory for the Spartan women as they punch their ticket to the big dance at Scope. Well, both those games were 367 days ago. And now here we are more than a year later back in downtown Norfolk for the MEAC tournament. Welcome back to the Sports Wrap, everyone. I'm Craig Loper live at Scope downtown Norfolk with the MEAC tournament tipping off this afternoon. Currently happening behind me, the Norfolk State men taking on Coppin State in a close game. Uh, we're about to hit the under 12 media timeout. Uh, pretty soon and we will have highlights and reaction from the Norfolk State men tonight at 1045 on the Fox 43 sports wrap. The Norfolk State men actually haven't lost an opening round MEAC tournament game since 2013, so uh, 11 years. Meanwhile, the Norfolk State women were in action on this court earlier today up against a struggling South Carolina State team uh, and the Spartans took care of business just like they have been all season long. They opened the MEAC tournament with a win and booked their ticket to the semifinals on Friday. Let's show you some video from that game earlier to show you what happened. This is how it broke down. This team been incredibly consistent this season. They were looking for a 13th straight win. And of course, the two pillars of this year's team did what they have been doing all year. Kiera Wheeler named MEAC player of the year last night. She goes for 19 points, seven rebounds and five blocks against the Bulldogs and MEAC newcomer of the year Diamond Johnson so dynamic of course offensively for her for them also poured in 19 points she added five assists and six rebounds as NSU won the game big nice and comfortable 75 to 43 the final here's reaction afterwards well this is the scariest one especially when you're going against a team that has nothing to lose you know, they, they were playing with house money today, and I look up, it's 9, 20 to 14 at the end of the first period. I'm like, what's going on? But um, we, we got it together in the second and third. We played a lot better. Didn't think we did the best today, but uh, we should say a win is a win when it comes to the tournament. So My team is definitely not morning people, so you didn't see them at 7 a.m. So from to see them bounce back from 7 a.m., it was good enough for me. But today, I, I'm glad that we, we fought it out and we got the win. It's all about surviving in this tournament. And of course, if the Norfolk State women can win the championship come sa Saturday, that would make it back to back MEAC tournament titles and of course back to back NCAA tournament appearances. I want to talk about some MEAC awards that were handed out last night and just lifts off uh, some Norfolk State winners as they had a host of them, right? Let's talk about it. Jamari Thomas wins player of the year for the Norfolk State men, also newcomer of the year. And Coach Robert Jones won coach of the year for the fourth time in his career. Also, Robert Bertrand win sixth man of the year. On the women's side, more awards for the Spartans. Kiera Wheeler, as I said, player of the year. Diamond Johnson wins newcomer of the year. Remember, she transferred in from NC State this offseason. Larry Vickers wins coach of the year for the second consecutive season.